Well, good morning, guys, from the Texas Hill Country. It is Robin, the Lady Biker. How are y'all doing today? Well, out today, and I was just going to talk a little bit to all of y'all about when was the last time you felt like a teenager? Because I sure do today. Well, let me tell you all about it. Well, hey guys, as I said, check it out. <laughs> I talked my dad into letting me borrow his bike. And yes, I feel just like a teenager begging their dad for the car keys for the first time when they were 16. Oh my gosh, it's just it, too funny. All right, let me put my, there we go. Sorry, I had to put my face shield down. And uh, so as I said, I'm here in the Texas Hill Country. My parents live in Fredericksburg, Texas now, and we've been here for just seeing some family for uh, a few days. We've been to Houston to see one of our daughters and my in-laws. We've been to San Antonio to see the two other kids, and now we're in Fredericksburg seeing my parents. And it's just so, so good to be home. I mean, this is, this is home. So today, my mom and Allie wanted to just stay back at the uh, where my parents are staying. They're full-time RVers, so they're staying back at the RV to I think my mom wanted a nap and Allie needed to do some work. So dad and I were like, hey, baby, let's ride. I'm like, yeah, dad, let's do it. So we are off. Actually, where we're headed right now is off to Lukenbach, Texas. So let me tell you, many of you have heard of this place. Many of you have been to Lukenbach. And if you have, drop down the comments, share with me one of your favorite memories of Lukenbach. But if you don't know about Lukenbach, it was established here in Texas in, let me see, 18, oh Lord, I'm trying to remember if it was 1848 or 1849. I'll, I'll double check and put it there at the bottom of the screen. But it was established by a, I believe an illiterate German preacher and his family. And it, it has served through the years as a trading post. Um, they had a cotton gin here for a while because cotton grows really well in this area. And, ooh, I'm having to get used to my dad's throttle. There it is. Anyway, um, but somewhere in the late 1920s, it kind of fell into disrepair and the cotton gin closed and all the town declined. And the town had been privately owned by the same family since the 1840s. And all of a sudden they put up, I'm trying to remember the statement, they put town for sale, lock, stock, and, and dance hall. And so someone else came along and bought the town and it started its second life. But where Lukenbach really took on its, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, um, took on its real notoriety was from the country and western singers in the 70s. They, uh, it was a group of them that called themselves the Outlaws. It was Jerry Jeff Walker, Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings, Chris Christopherson. I know I'm forgetting one or two of them. But they were the big artists of the time that were out here and they were singing and writing music and probably doing 15 other things that they don't necessarily want to advertise, but they did them anyway. <laughs> And, but the most popular one, at least that I remember from my childhood, was Lukenbach, Texas, Back to Basic. And it was released, oh, late 70s, 77, 78, something like that. Uh, Waylon, Gen Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson. But that's the one that I remember so strongly from my childhood because my parents had that old LP, that old vinyl. And that was one of their favorite records. And I remember that so clearly from my childhood. So this is actually going to be my first trip to Lukenbach. So we are headed out definitely through the back roads. And uh, just looking forward to enjoying that. Let me show you all some of the trip.
gosh, I love that little town. It's so awesome. Anyway, just another thought to finish out about, have you ever felt like a teenager again? Uh, this trip, we, Allie and I decided to fly. And so I haven't been riding in a week. And yes, guys, I have been going through detoxes. I was starting to get a little twitchy. And so I begged dad to let me borrow his bike for the ride. And I mean, he rides a Road King. This is a 2019 Road King. And if I remember, this is the third Road King he has owned in his lifetime. Oh, that is Texas royalty out there. I'm just at the right height, though, that that railing is in the way. But the anyway, Hill Country, gorgeous, back to topic. But that man in front of me, that's my dad on my mom's trike, as I said earlier. And that's the man that taught me how to not only drive and drive a car well, he's also the one that kind of gave me the bug for riding myself. He's the one that helped me learn. He's the one that arranged for a friend of ours to loan us a... Um, Harley Davidson 500, which is the bikes that they use in their training programs. And he's the one that basically taught me not only how to drive, but how to ride and to have a passion for riding. And so getting out today just to spend some time together and enjoy the ride and enjoy the beauty that is the Texas Hill Country, because it just constantly changes. Um, it's just kind of nice. I've really missed being able to just ride with my parents. The last time I had that opportunity was when they rode back from here in Texas back to California with me a little over a year ago. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, I'm not sure if we're going to stop or just go slow or what we're going to do. Oh, isn't that pretty? All right, Dad was just telling me that this is the Pardinalis River. I think this is the fullest I've seen it in years. But anyway, so just feeling a little bit like a kid today, but finally getting back on the bike, riding my dad's bike of all things. Isn't that crazy? And we are definitely a family that loves the Road Kings. All The only one who doesn't is my mama, and she, she rides that freewheeler up there. But anyway, guys, we are just going to get out and... Enjoy the ride as a father and daughter and just spend some time out in the country and enjoy it. And Guys, this is what life is really about is these moments, these rare, unusual moments whenever you get to spend time with a parent, with a friend, with a loved one, and just do something that is amazing and beautiful and wonderful that you just really enjoy. So with that, guys, I hope everybody is out enjoying some kind of venture. Hopefully you're riding, and if you're not, hopefully you're finding something else that just makes you so joyful with life. But whatever it is, have fun, be safe, and I'm going to catch you on the next video. Bye.